Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n as the input and find the sum of n and its reverse. And if the sum is palindrome, then the program has print its sum, else print the next largest palindromic integer of its sum. So now we'll take our first test case. So here, the integer n is 12. The reverse of integer n is 21. And the sum of n plus reverse is equal to 33. 33 is a palindrome. So we'll print 33 as our output. Now we will take our another test case. So here the integer n is 8 and the reverse of 8 is also 8 and now the sum of n plus reverse is equal to 8 plus 8 that is 16. Now 16 is not a palindromic integer. So we have to print the next largest palindromic integer. So we'll iterate over and check for a palindromic integer. So 16 is not a palindrome. 17 is not a palindrome. 18 is not a palindrome. Then 19 is also not a palindrome. Then we go for 20, 21 and 22. So now 22 is a palindrome. So we'll stop the loop here and print 22 as our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our input n dot strip off and then we'll have a variable called as the required num which will be the sum of the integer n and the reverse of n. So this will give the reverse. So now we have found the sum of the integer n and the reverse of n. So after finding if the share of the required num is equal to equal to str of required num reverse that is if it is a palindrome so if the reverse is equal then we have to print the required num in the else part we are going to find the next palindromic integer so the required num will be incremented by one and then while true If the str of the required num is equal to equal to that is the same condition we are going to check whether it is a palindrome then we'll print the required num and use break. So after this again the required num will be incremented by 1. So now let us execute our program. We will pass our first test case. So yes we have got the correct output. Now we will pass our another test case. 
here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video